now we can put this to bed finally, because I know you've talked yeah. about it many times, but quickly just humor me and tell yeah. me about this past with Jeffrey Epstein. And we can say you want to announce that you put this to bed and you won't talk about this anymore. Well, I have only talked about it once on, I just wrote about it on Instagram and it got picked up by a lot of press. And then since then I've had obviously a lot of reporters, um, they want to do documentaries, like interviews and everything. But in my mind, I wrote what had happened and I was very lucky to get away. So basically the story is, it's not the story, but um, I was in my very, I think I was about 20 and I was at a really kind of like, beautiful drinks party at this very beautiful place called Zion Park and this woman comes up to me and she said oh you're a model and I said yes because at the time I was modeling I was 20 and she said um well I'd really like you to come for a casting for a Victoria's Secret campaign I mean I was like I mean who wouldn't want to do that I was like hell yeah Seriously. So, and she goes, you know, my name is Ghislaine Maxwell. She gave me a card, whatever. And she goes, listen, I, um, I'd like you to be at Claridge's, Field Hotel, um, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. for the casting. Um, ask for Jeff Mr. Jeffrey Epstein, and they will send you up in, you know, the lift to a suite, whatever. So the next night, I went along to um, the Claridge's, and there I was told where, you know, which floor to go on. Now, as I was walking down the corridor to Jeffrey's suite, right, two girls, women, fell out laughing. So already then I knew that this was something, something not right. You know, and obviously that became very, very apparent afterwards. And I'm pretty, almost 100% one was um, Ghislaine. I mean, of course it was. So two girls fell out laughing and they sort of ran off down the other corridor. Anyways, I went there and it was all kind of like, you know, he let me in and he kind of sat on his sofa and it was very dark in there and a bit being, you know, the lights were really dim. I gave him my portfolio. He kind of looked through that. And then he, he said, okay, go and stand over there and take the top off, right? And so I thought, well, I mean, okay. So it's a BS casting. And then he said, and, and bend forward and push your breasts together. And I was like, to push them together so anyway I did that and um I mean it was very very brief and so he said and then I and then he was like just sort of like staring at me so I was like okay not really sure what's happening here um it was very uncomfortable the whole thing it was just kind of like it was very it just wasn't it just didn't feel right the whole thing so anyway I kind of like thought well I had a dinner luckily at Annabelle. So I literally said, you know, I've got dinner and I kind of like, you know, got, got out of there. So anyway, two nights later, I met a really like this huge kind of like social light, um, this guy, and he's hosting his birthday dinner and he's taken over the whole restaurant, but it's like one big table. So it's a private party, private dinner. And um, there's about 20, 30 people in there, all at this table. And so I'm sitting there, in between my friends and Ghislaine walks in and she sits next to the host and she took one look at me and she was absolutely mortified she couldn't believe that I ran the same circles as her she had like absolutely she literally couldn't she once she saw me there she couldn't look at me she was literally mortified so I said to my friends I said you know to these like my friends next to me I said oh my god that's the woman that um sent me along for the VS casting the other night. And they said, Adela, are you crazy? She, she sent you along to cast you for a threesome. And I was like, what? Are you joking? And, um, and so, you know, I never heard from them again, thank God, until 10 years later, I saw in the newspaper that um, Epstein was this, you know, I was like, oh my God, that's the guy. That's the guy. So, you know, the, the reason why, I mean, like, I was very fortunate, nothing, you know, nothing happened to me, but it was just that, that is the experience I had. And that is what Ghislaine did. She came up and she, you know, she recruited me to go and be interviewed for a threesome. I think that was at the time what they were after. I don't know, you know. Wow. But, um, yeah. So anyway, I, there's nothing else to say about it. Um, you know, I feel incredibly sorry for what's happened to everybody else. It's just disgusting. I mean, it's yeah. absolutely disgusting. And 
you know, to be honest with you, I'm disgusted with Galen as well. It's just like, yeah. I mean, for her to have that in her that she would actually go and do that just to please a man. 